Uh, the next thing that I want to talk about is security. And uh, anytime that you're doing a BI implementation, uh, you need to think about security. So who can see what? What can they see? How can they secure the information to ensure our audience is not seeing too much? Many of our customers at BI Consulting Group <coughs> roll their implementation out to external sources. Uh, we've got customers out there, uh, medical customers who are healthcare customers that are rolling this out to the customers that they're providing insurance to, um, allowing them to do some analysis on their own data, and obviously security becomes very important. So as you're embarking on an OBIE implementation, <coughs> be sure to set up a great security strategy and have that something that's kind of upfront and, and foremost as part of your implementation. And understand what types of requirements uh, you need to meet from a security perspective. We're going to talk a little bit about some best practices uh, around security. One, role level security, uh, column level security, and how to audit improper data access inside your OBIE environment. Um, so from a column level security inside OBIE, a great best practice to use is uh, taking a column and uh, setting security on that column. So depending upon what group of user logs into the tool, they may or may not see that column of information on a report. For example, social security number. Maybe you only have a few people inside your organization that could see a, an employee ID or social security number, whatever that information may be, uh, and you want to have column uh, security on that to ensure that other folks do not see that information or content. You're just building one report, setting up column grouping and column security. The next area is role level security, uh, and OBIEE supports uh, role level security, which allows you to uh, have regions or or groups of users only see one slice of the information, again, just on one report. So you may have a, a region manager, um, a western region manager, and, and they're in charge of sales, and you want to ensure that you only see their region, or they have metrics that are built specifically around their, their region. And that's a, where we would utilize the role level security as part of OBIEE. And then finally, uh, one best practice uh, that we like to utilize on all of our projects is ensuring that you have usage tracking set up um, and uh, it allows you to really analyze who's accessing your system, what information are they accessing, and uh, you know what can they see and what can't they see. Uh, so definitely set up the usage tracking uh, components 